This is CES M M A. All right, welcome back to Twin River Casino for our main event. John Doomsday Howard, Jason Type 1 Luck, and here we are taking a look at the tail of the tape in the middleweight division. Howard coming in at 17 and 7 with eight knockouts. Jason Luck coming in 15 and 10 with seven knockouts and six submissions. Let's send it down to Bill Carpenter for the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Birchfield's Classic Entertainment and Sports, in association with the Twin River Casino and Gammons Prudential Realty, presents tonight's classic co-main event. This co-main event is sanctioned by the Rhode Island Department of Business Regulation, Division of Commercial Licensing, Racing, and Athletics. Paul McGreevy, Director. Maria D'Alessandro, Deputy Director. Christina Tobias, Chief Licensing Examiner, Racing and Athletics. We have three judges scoring tonight's main event. They are Mike Barker, Paul Asmar, and Wayne Lima. And once the bell sounds, the man in charge of all the action in the cage is your referee, Dan Mergliotta. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another classic main event. Three five-minute rounds of action in the cage. Middleweights, this is the Prudential Gammons Realty Boat. Now introducing the principals. First, in the blue corner, he weighed in for tonight's classic main event at 184 and one half pounds. He claims 15 wins as a professional with 10 losses, including seven knockouts and six submission victories. He comes to us tonight all the way from Davenport, Iowa. Please welcome Jason Type 1 Lauk. Across the cage to my left, fighting out of the red corner, he tipped the scales at the middleweight limit of 185 pounds. His impressive professional record shows 17 wins with only seven losses, including eight knockouts and six submission victories. This seven-time UFC veteran is representing Y Crew, Team Pitbull, Intense MMA, and New England Combat, fighting out of Boston, Massachusetts. He is the reigning CES MMA middleweight champion, introducing John Doomsday Howard. Our main event, three five-minute rounds. Scott, if you were a betting man, you'd be betting on a finish tonight. These two fighters are combined for 32 wins. They finished 27 of them. That would be odds in the favor of that. <laughs> John Howard, as we all know, the former UFC vet, possibly on the fast track back to the big stage, maybe later this summer in Boston. That just kind of increases the intensity and the importance of this bout. We'll see how this one goes, but Jason Lauk certainly no slouch coming in at 15 and 10. Yeah, Jason's fought a lot down New Jersey, New York area. Left hook, right cross, another left He's hook, He's got right him, cross. it's over! That would be the end of it, boys and girls! That's John Doomsday Howard letting you know he's back and for real. Well, we thought it'd be a finish, and we got our finish. John Doomsday Howard destroys Jason Lauk in the opening round, right-left combo sent Lok into the cage and out. You look at that left hand, it was placed perfectly on his jaw. He threw punches and punches, a devastating combination, and put him right on his ass. I would say it's uh, safe to assume Doomsday is back and perhaps we'll be seeing him at the Ultimate Fighting Championships later this year. That's five consecutive wins now for Doomsday Howard. Ninth knockout of his career. Huge victory, Scott. Let's take a look at the replay. It was the lead left hand that you'll see John throws the right, misses, double right. There's the left hook. Right, there's that left right on the button, uppercut left hook, and that would be it, boys. Left right, left combo. Unbelievable, great job. You see, he, because of the height difference, John had to work hard to get in. Left hook, right over the top. That was the left that put it on him, and that will finish it right up. Great job by Doomsday. Well, that second left on the chin really sent Lauk on his rear end down to the canvas and Luck observed a couple more blows before Dan Mergliotta could step in and stop Doomsday Howard. Huge win for Howard and a tough Luck loss. 
no pun intended for Jason Luck, who comes in all the way from Davenport, Iowa, and lasts less than a minute in this main event against Doomsday Howard. But a huge victory for Howard, as we noted the importance possibly getting back to the UFC later this summer. And that's a real exclamation point on this five fight win streak for him. And he finishes Luck in no time. Again, it was that lead left, the overhand right that followed, and the left to the chin, followed by another flurry of shots before Dan Mergliata mercifully stepped in and ended this bout. Luck, thankfully, is back on his feet, but he took quite a beating at the hands of Doomsday. And now that is five consecutive victories for John Howard as he finishes off this fight with a bang and possibly again punching his ticket back to the Ultimate Fighting Championships. Let's send it down to Bill Carpenter for the particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes quickly. 23 seconds of round number one. Your winner by knockout. John Doomsday Howard. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Doomsday with devastating fashion. John, you wasted no time. You had a little bit of a height differential there. Did it take you a little while to find your timing? Because it looked like it. you just kind of moved right in pretty slick. Nah, man, I went to see his power. I felt to him. He came forward. And I uh, did a double right cross, and I just went for it. I saw everything open, and I, I just went for it. Well, it looks like you landed with some accuracy, and I couldn't be happier for you. You did a fantastic job. I don't know what else to say. That was pretty quick. Anybody want to thank? Uh, real quick, uh, Y Crew team, New, New England Combat, um, uh, 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 Carlos Neto, Jimmy Burford, uh, Nikki, Nikki Boo Boo. Scott Reed, my new coach, thank you. John Allen, uh, Intense MMA, uh, Team Pitbull. Oh yeah, thank you. Hey, real quick, big news, guys. I'm moving to Rhode Island soon, to let you know. And real talk right now, if I go back to the UFC, I'm representing Rhode Island from now on. Ladies and gentlemen, your new Rhode Island resident and current CES middleweight champ, John.